Yes, I promised you we're going to have the 2012 Nigerian Idol in the house. And here she is. Yeah. Join us as we introduce Chingwe. Merci. Merci, Chingwe. Yeah. You're welcome to Thank Saturday you. night. Thank you so much. Wow, it's good to have you on the show. And it's good to be here with you. Oh, great. I love your smile for status. Let me say that. I love your smile for status. Thank you. So now, um, 2012, winner mm. of the um, Nigerian Idol. Idol. How does it make you feel? Um, I feel great and um, it's a dream come true for me. Let me ask you one question. Since they announced you as a winner for the 2012 Nigerian Idol, mm -hmm. have you been able to sleep? Yes, of course. You I have. have been able to sleep, but you know, when you get to realize that you have a lot ahead of you, mm -hmm. you need to sit up and strategize on the next plan ahead. <laughs> cool. So since that time it happened, what has changed in you? Nothing has changed. It's just that this, the the stardom thing, I can just walk on the street alone without hearing people scream, Mercy, yeah, that's Mercy on Nigerian Idol Music Competition, the winner of Nigerian Idol Music Competition show. I think that's just the thing that has changed about me. But my personality remains the same. Are you comfortable with that change? I am because it's a greater height pushing me to the next level of life. So I need to live with it and move on with life. Who was Mercy before the before you became the winner of the 2012 Nigerian <laughs> Well, Mercy was a girl, a growing girl, based in Port Harcourt City, a girl from River State, from a family of six. And my mom is an Aquabomite, and my dad is from Ikwere, with base in Rumudara. Um, Mercy started up from church. Okay. The Apostolic Church of Nigeria, Rumudara branch. And my secondary school, I had my secondary school and my primary school in Port Harcourt, Godswill International School, Victory Comprehensive College, and also Paradise International Group of School in Port Harcourt. You haven't mentioned a university yet. Does that mean you haven't gotten into one yet? No, I did. I did a certificate program with the University of Port Harcourt course linguistics and communication studies and after then before i finished the program that was when i went for the audition nigerian idol in port harcourt presidential hotel and we came all the way from port harcourt to lagos interesting <laughs> interesting so for you when did music when did it all start for you when did it all start um, music is an inborn thing okay i would say it all started when i was quite young pretty young at the age of seven my dad took it up upon himself because they figured it out like this is where she's she she would really fit in she sings and my dad would always tell me you sing like my grandmom like my mom rather and i i i i found myself in a, a music department the children department in my mom's church that was how it all started after that, I happened to be the choral director in my mom's in my mom's church and also in school. That was how I developed my music um, talent. That was how it all started. For you, did you ever think um, you were going to take it beyond the church level? Did you ever think at any time in your life that, okay, this is music talent in me, this thing in me, it's something that I can actually live on. I mean, did it strike you that you were going to... Uh, become a superstar in the music industry. Yes, because I always dreamt big. I have a big dream of standing out in the society one day and singing to the youths of Nigeria, passing across message, positive message to the youths of Nigeria and also to Nigeria in general. Um, before I auditioned Nigerian Idol, I had it in mind that I'll go far. I was ready for it, but I needed people to support me. And my friend also told me about it. Okay. That was when I involved myself into it. So when I came to Nigerian Idol, it wasn't just about music. Outside music, I would say it was knowledge-based because I learned a lot outside music from Nigerian Idol, hmm. especially from my music coach, my co-contestants, the top 12 contestants, my coordinator, and also the dancers that came in, the bandits dancers. So all those performances you were seeing on stage, it wasn't just from my own ability. I wasn't just the brain behind it. I had other supporters. I had other people that pushed me. 
how was it like you know when you walked in there and you said okay i want to become a contestant what did you have in mind really what i had in mind was something positive Okay. I never had any negative thoughts. I, I, I said, okay, let me give it a try and see what happens. Let, let me see what comes out of it. And thank God I took that bold step. I could vividly remember when I got into the hall at the presidential hotel, I saw lots of people there, lots of talent, young people. I met most of my friends, singers. And they said, uh, Messi, you're here. I said, yes, the same thing you came looking for. That's the same thing that brought me here. And after the audition, my first audition, I had a yes, and I was so hopeful. They called me back for the next round of the audition, still in Port Harcourt. I also had a yes to come to Lagos for the top 100. So I, 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 I had a drive to go in for it. I think that was my first plan and drive. First encounter. Yes, yeah, so after the first encounter, what happened afterwards? I mean, in the house, how was it like, you know, being in the house for how long? Six months? Six months, yeah. It was lovely. It was fun and adventurous. You know why? Because I had lovely people around me. My co-contestants were lovely. I learned a lot from them. And we also had time to go out aside rehearsal. We also had time. We went, we went to the beach. We also paid KFC visits, went to Beat FM, Classic FM, Ninja FM, to ask the viewers to vote for us. <laughs> we also went out to beg for votes. So the whole experience was what it was worth it. Hmm. I really enjoyed myself. And I want to say thanks to Nigerian Idol because they have really changed everything about Mercy. So when you were in the house, who would you say was your rival? I mean, at one time you were confident that, yes, I have all it takes to become a winner. In the house? Yes. Everybody in the competition, the 12 contestants, were all good, fantastic performers and good singers. But I would say Joe Blue, hmm. Najite, and Sly One. Okay. They had this X Factor in them. They were, they were... They were they knew why they came in to the competition and you know everybody each day they expect something big and something much from you so they also gave in their best for it and then i saw them as my rival i never gave up mm. what i was doing you know looking at you while you performed on stage you had this electrifying Women around you, you know, your yeah. man was just so electrifying. People were drawn to you and all. What would you say, you know, had you registered that kind of uh, effect on people? I would say it's my creativity. All right. Number one, number two, my style, and three, persistence in what I was doing because I had people there for me. I was ready to learn. I was so, so willing and ready to learn. I learned from others, and I also gave in my best into it. And the I fella. created my style into it. The fella thing. Zobi. Yeah, no. <laughs> the fella thing was just phenomenal. How on earth did you pull that stunt? Because a stunt for me. <laughs> Looking at you, I'm like, is this for? Is this real? Is this? Is this? Is this? Is this fella reincarnated or something? You know, in a woman, in a woman body or something. You were just so so good at it. What? How did you? How did you pull it off? I would say one, it's God for the wisdom. It's it's God. It's been God all the way, and two. I I I I, I made the song my song. Hmm. Fela is the originator of the song, but I made it my own song, and I had people to the brain behind what I was doing. I had people like the bandit dancers. If you watch the performance you saw the dancers they rolled me in 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 to the stage before they opened the box and i came out now it's not just singing but also giving in something different from singing i didn't just take it up as i came to sing i gave in something different i created my style into it the passion was there so i think that was what took me far and uh, speaking of joe blue people seem to have this chemistry between the two of you. Can you tell us more about it? Mm, 
nothing much to say about it. We work together. We believe so much in our talent. We believe so much in ourselves. And we learn from each other. Who was your best friend in the house? Everybody. No. I didn't have a particular your secret <laughs> best friend. Yes. Best friend. Everybody. Joe Blue, Ayo, Diwari, Ibinabo, Nikki. Everybody. Do you know what it means to be best amongst I, the rest? I know. I That's know. the question I'm asking you. There must be somebody you really, really connected with while in the house. I mean, you have everybody, you connected with everybody, no doubt. Okay. But there was this, there must be one person. You had that chemistry. You had that connection. You could tell anything. You could, you know, just be yourself in that person's presence. Who would that person be? I would say the youngest, Chinedu. Okay. He was my best friend in the house during the competition. Okay. Why? Because Chinedu taught me a lot. Even when I almost gave up in the competition, Chinedu told me, Messi, if you don't believe in yourself, I so much believe in you and I so much believe in what you carry. And Chinedu's faith, I can't really classify or give you um, 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 a platform to place it. He's a Christian, he believes in God, and he also gave me that drive. So if someone like that, he's 19, I'm one year older than him, if he could portray such potential, then I could. So I learned from him, and we were close in the house. Even when he got ev evicted, I was I was sad. I was I wasn't happy that he evicted him. So once he left the house, what happened to you? I How were you able to cope? Everybody. I mean, that's that was your better half living, or mm -hmm. left the house. How did you cope afterwards? I became friends with everybody. Oh, so you were just indifferent. Okay, everybody's yeah, my friend everybody. now. I don't need to attach myself. To Even me. while he was there, everybody. Okay. I was Still actually thinking it's Joe Blue. Because, I mean, there's this chemistry <laughs> between, I keep saying the chemistry because you guys were just, you know, it was as if you had rehearsed before okay. you even came to the house. You know, you had this understanding on stage, Each even other. off stage. So how did you, how were you able to bond that long and, you know, come up with that impression? Mm, Joe Blue, he's a theatre art student at Lagos University. And me all the way from Port Harcourt, we just understood why we came there. And Jubilee is very, very creative. Jubilee is so, so creative and he has passion for music. What we do is we share ideas together. Okay. We share ideas together. We love ourselves and brothers and sisters in the competition. I see. We advise ourselves and we told ourselves we will make it. No turning back, no to worry about it. Interesting. So now I say it. It's the Port Harcourt uh, cabal. <laughs> you just came into the house and said, we must win this 7.5 million, whether these people like it or not. And you came all oh the way God. to Lagos and you won the, the money. Yes, so now, uh, moving on now, the show is over, the competition is over, okay. and Mercy is still there. Okay. What are your projections? Looking forward to start up with a single. Okay. First, because Nigerians are so, so expecting much from me. So I need to keep up to standard and keep my dreams alive. And I also need their support to go on and to move on in this. What do you career. see Mercy in another 10, 15 years? <laughs> well, I would say see Mercy building up a youth forum one because my interest is basically for the youth and also to impact other lives i see myself going on tours from one country to the other passing my message across and what's the message oh, telling the youth to keep their dreams alive believe in themselves and never never give up on themselves that's a good one that's a very good one Thank well you. we'll just roll back a bit um the final day when it was just you and Joe Blue left in the mm -hmm. house, on stage, how did you feel? Before the announcement of the winner, how did you feel? Wow. Because he was a good rival. He was a rival. He was a rival to contend with. How did you, how, how, what were your thoughts at that moment in time? 
my thoughts then was hopefully I don't know how to say it like I was tense on stage and I told myself whatever happens I've come this far and I'll make good use of the platform I was hopeful and I was also looking at the future while on stage I was thinking of so many things I was also looking at the future and how I would start after the whole show on Nigerian Idol when they announced me as the winner I was shocked I was happy I was shocked and I was surprised I've still not recovered from the shock of Saturday <laughs> okay so um, on a final note you have your 7.5 million rest in your account now yeah yeah is did i did i sense uh, hesitation there <laughs> <laughs> i want to get you for the records so your suv are you a driver no not learning okay. learning how to drive yeah now you're a proud owner of a car <laughs> hmm? yeah so how does it feel I feel like someone that owns a car <laughs> oh great so now um how many things have what what are the prices for you as a winner, what exactly did you get as a winner? Um, I had the 7.5 million Naira. I had a car, the SUV. I had a recording contract. And not just me. Joe Blue had a recording contract. Steven and all the contestants, they had their own prizes too. So everybody is a winner in the competition. Interesting. So on the final note, what um, advice do you have to give to the young ones who are coming up? I mean, people who are looking up to you. I'll say to the youths out there, believe in yourself. Never give up on your dream and make good use of every given opportunity you have. And please don't forget to seek for advice when needed. You know, you speak like an adult. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 20 years old. 20 years old? Yeah, and you're already yeah. <laughs> wearing the shoes of an adult. God. Yeah. So do you have uh, a man in your life? I know your parents are watching. <laughs> <laughs> I won't talk about that. Oh, no, you won't talk about now, that. yeah. Okay. All right. So um, here is wishing you the very best as you go on a lifelong journey. Thank you. As a second winner of the Nigerian Idol. Idol. It's been nice having you. Thank you. Thank you for my heart for honoring us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. So there you have it. You heard it from the horse's mouth. From Mercy herself. <laughs> so I hope you've been able to, you've enjoyed yourself on the program. Until next week, we'll come up with another interesting package. It's been Saturday night. Have a pleasant night. <laughs>